So with a Boca Juniors game and a day trip to Montevideo in the books, it was time to delve deeper into Buenos Aires. With four days remaining until we'd leave for our next destination, there was plenty of time to explore. If you're thinking of visiting BA at some point in the near future, I'm going to take you through five things that definitely should be on your itinerary in the Argentine capital. Number one. San Telmo Market. On a Sunday, the neighbourhood of San Telmo becomes a street market, with stores offering everything from clothing and food to handicrafts and souvenirs. If you want to get a memento to take home, this is the place to come, and in addition to the shopping, there are various street performers doing their thing. It's also a top place to stop off for a drink and some food, and down an alleyway was this Perea and Bar. We grabbed a snack, which was awesome, and then continued on to buy some goodies. When you're in the San Telmo area, make sure to stop off at El Zanjon de Granados, a 200 year old mansion which sits on top of a series of underground tunnels that date back to the city's earliest settlements. A guided tour will give you great insight into the history of Buenos Aires and its people, and if you're already nearby, then you may as well pay a visit. Number 2. Caminito I've already shown you part of the La Boca district as we visited at the start of the trip when we went to watch Boca Juniors play. However, there's much more to this vibrant part of town as it is home to Caminito, a street lined with colourful painted buildings. Although it is a bit of a tourist trap, it's more than worth a visit, especially if you want to get that shot for the gram. At some of the restaurants along Caminito, you can enjoy your food with the side of tango, the famous Argentinian dance. And if you enjoy it that much, you can even have a go yourself at one of the many malongas across the city. We headed to Maldita Malonga where we got lessons, had a chance to practice and try our hand at this partner dance, and then we were treated to live music and a performance from the professionals. All in all, it was a cracking evening and it is well worth doing. Number 3. Plaza de Mayo and Casa Rosada Moscow has Red Square, New York has Times Square and Buenos Aires has Plaza de Mayo. The oldest public square in BA, Plaza de Mayo is named after the Argentine Revolution which began on the 24th of May 1810 and has since played host to some of the nation's most significant events. Here you'll find many important buildings such as the Metropolitan Cathedral and the Cabildo, a public building used as the seat of town council during the colonial era. But neither are as iconic as Casa Rosada, the seat of the Argentine national government which also houses the president's office. You can go in on a guided tour, but you need to book beforehand on the building's official website. Number 4. Recoleta Cemetery One thing that's certainly more eclectic and definitely a must-see for fans of dark tourism, Recoleta Cemetery is the resting place of some of Buenos Aires' most prominent citizens and features over 6,400 statues, sarcophagi, coffins and crypts. Some of the sites are absolutely remarkable and take form in a number of architectural styles. The extravagance of the graves have made this one of Buenos Aires' most popular tourist sites. Its most famous icon is Eva Perón, who lays in the Duarte family tomb. Evita was a successful actress before she became the First Lady of Argentina in 1946 as the wife of President Juan Perón. She is one of the country's most popular historical figures and was known for speaking on behalf of labour rights, running the ministries of labour and health, championing suffrage in Argentina, as well as her dedication to charity work. You can learn all about her fascinating life at the Evita Museum, which is housed inside the building that was acquired by Eva's social foundation in 1948 for use as a refuge for women from outside of the city. Number 5. Teatro Colón Here's one for lovers of the arts. Teatro Colón is a stunning theatre in the heart of the city and is heralded as one of the best opera houses in the world. You can go on a guided tour, but we opted to buy a cheap standing ticket up on the building's top tier for one of the performances, which only cost £3 or roughly $4 if you're from the US. It wasn't the most comfortable experience in the world, as it was quite busy up there and we only stayed for the first hour of the show. But it's perfect for those who want to see the stunning building and soak up the atmosphere that a performance generates, all for a budget price. And if you like Teatro Colón, then why not swing by El Ateneo Grand Splendid? 
this theatre turned bookshop is worth a wonder, even if you aren't buying anything. There's also an on-stage cafe if you need to stop off for a quick break. And I know what you're thinking, where is the food? Cuisine is an integral part of the Argentina experience and that's why it's coming up on the next vlog. So subscribe to the channel and ensure you'll be notified of when the next South America vlog goes live. Also, if you've got any Buenos Aires recommendations that I missed out on here, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear them. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.